Okay, this little glass tube is a helium neon laser. These are now totally obsolete, being replaced by the laser diodes, uh, which are more efficient. But these are rather nice to look at and play with, although they do take about 7,000 volts to run. Um, this is a helium neon gas mixture, and this is the laser beam at the output here, which comes out through this mirrored end at this end. Um, the early versions used to lose their their helium used to escape and they would produce the same sort of glow but wouldn't actually have a lasing out. But all the all the gas lasers are more or less uh, obsolete. The only remaining one is the CO2 one. Okay, this is the uh, business end of a CO2 laser I've hooked up just to experiment with. The voltages are very high so it's all been cased in plastic but they are really nice to look at so I've used perspex, clear perspex to see them. There is a water cooler so we do have water that can be pumped around although for generally the amount of time which we I run this it, it's not required. The high voltage supply is here and the, the tube is inside here. As the beam is invisible, eye protection is really important. Uh, fortunately, the, the beam from this won't go through glass, so glass or plastic uh, is generally enough. A uh, little demonstration of what this can do. This uh, material is verniculite. It's basically a um, an asbestos type of material, although not as dangerous, uh, but it can take heat, no problem. Uh, it's uh, if I fire the beam into that, it actually liquefies the, the vaniculite, who you see it glowing afterwards. Just to give you an idea of how dangerous this beam is. quite a deep burn in what, about one and a half seconds. Okay, this is just a, an older tube to have a look at. Um, it's disconnected, in fact this one's got air in it, it had a little accident. Um, you can see inside the construction it's actually quite a nice piece of um, kind of scientific glassware. You've got uh, an inner tube with an outer water jacket and then this outer reservoir of the gas and interesting it's called uh, carbon dioxide laser, but the carbon dioxide is actually probably one of the, the the rarer gases that are in there. It's nitrogen and helium is also in there. There's also two mirrors built in. Now these aren't normal mirrors. One at this end and one at the actual output mirror here, this end. Now these have to pass infrared rather than light so they're not normal mirrors. So the mirrors are also liquid cooled so the jacket that cools the arc inside, uh, the discharge inside also cools the uh, mirrors on both ends and this is being the exit end this side. This is the electrode here, well one will be the electrode, one is the anode and cathode. So I can Put some. I can take some air out of it. So I've got a partial vacuum uh, in this old uh, CO2 laser. This is just air in here, so it's not actually producing any laser output. But you can see the uh, the discharge path uh, through the center tube. There's a water jacket around the outside of that, and then this outer jacket is also the the gas reservoir. If we look at the output just now there would be, normally the laser beam would come out here but this isn't lasing because the gas isn't correct, There's, uh, it's just basically air in there uh, which is interestingly part carbon dioxide and part nitrogen which is uh, the main part of the gas is used um, but it doesn't laze here.